the European Union. Confused? Here's how it works. We'll start with the European Commission. It's the powerful civil service of the EU. The engine room, if you like. It's run by 28 commissioners, one from each member country. It administers much of the money that the EU spends. But this is also where new laws are born. It's political. The Commission is based in Brussels, in this glass and steel building with lots of flags in front of it. Next, the European Parliament. It's based in Brussels, in this glass and steel building, but sometimes everyone goes to this glass and steel building in Strasbourg instead. Members, or MEPs, sit here. There are 751 from all over Europe. Parliament started as an underpowered talking shop, but has become a serious player, voting on nearly all the laws proposed by the European Commission. There's more. The Council of the European Union. It's where the governments of the 28 member countries have their say. Representatives of said governments meet in this building in Brussels, Sometimes all the leaders meet here to give political direction to the EU. Generally, there's a deal at the end. It's usually a compromise. One more thing. There's the European Court of Justice. It's there to make sure everyone sticks to the rules and follows the laws. It also sorts out squabbles between the Commission, the Council and the Parliament. It's in Luxembourg and it looks like this. And in a nutshell, that's how the EU works.